Hey Sherwood, do you know what time it is? It's not time for you to check your goddamn phone. Time for you to put your phone down right now. Time for you to put that phone down right fucking now. Plugging it in. You're liking people on goddamn <laughs> Tinder, you horn dog. <laughs> what? It's not sexual. Uh huh. You're using Tinder romantically. Sure. I feel like we. You should know me by now enough to know that I'm always looking romantically. <laughs> <laughs> so sure would James. Even when I'm looking to like fuck, 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 fuck. fuck? <laughs> Even when you're looking to fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm looking to You're get, always looking for 20 years down the line. I'm looking to get... You're gonna be married for life. When I'm looking to get fucked, like, I just want, like, you know, like, romantic. You gotta sit close, man. The audio quality. You can't oh, be we leaning. Starting? We've started, like, three oh. minutes ago. <laughs> I thought I thought we were, like, gonna have something on the screen. No. What, what the fuck would we have on the screen? I don't know. What? <laughs> I no, thought, give I, me an idea what I, the I, fuck I, is supposed I, to be on the screen. We're playing a game or something. No, we're doing a podcast. Alright. Alright, so what's been up with you? Why haven't we uploaded shit in like the last goddamn six months? You've been busy writing your novel. I'm writing a goddamn novel and multiple like other mini 30 novels. 30 years. They're called novellas. Also, it's been like five Tell months. Novella. It's been like five months. And that's a somewhat normal amount of time to write a novel. Five cunts. That's how much I give. How much is a cunt <laughs> compared to a shit? I mean, a cunt is a physical thing attached to a person. That's significantly uh, more than a shit, which is excrement, after. which is deposited from inside of a body. After it's separated. So in case you can't tell, we've been drinking a little bit. Uh, you need to drink more. Because I've far Can you outpaced. pause the podcast? No, just keep the drinking while we're... Pause cast? What's the difference? Can't you pause an yes, audio stream? but it's a hassle. You just like... Burp. It paused. It's a huge hassle Can to do so. Bring this a little closer. No, you need leg room. Yes. All right. Because well, I don't want. I'm pouring my drink. Bump the table. That is a amateurish pour. Put that on the. Make that the. That's the sound. <laughs> I would never use such an amateurish pour. The name comes up on the screen. I am a licensed bartender. I know, 100 percent for a fact that was an amateur pour. All right. I thought of a name for our new sex segment we are not doing a sex podcast god damn it (laughs) sex with kids (laughs) (laughs) sex with the kids no sex with kids (laughs) not by kids sex featuring kids (laughs) so man what have you been up to Uh, i've been getting into oh well first i say i had sex with a girl (gasps) <gasps> with a with a woman. What? Wait, should I be talking about this? No, because this isn't <laughs> a goddamn sex cast. All right, skip. and that's inappropriate. No, no, no. Se- sex cast aside, like you know, real life stuff. <laughs> Just talking about your goddamn. Right. What have you been doing? I was seeing a girl. Didn't work out. Uh huh. All right. I so was... as far as the viewers know, the like one guy that actually consi- All right, we have two people that consistently watch this bullshit. And it's, uh, as far as they knew, you were still with your previous girlfriend. Because you talked all about your girlfriend, Uh, who was a terrible person and hated you, and you hated. Like, it was a terrible relationship. She hated me more than I hated her. (laughs) You should have hated her more than you did. I give people, like, a lot of (laughs) slack. You fucking do. Like, holy shit, man. You need to have some goddamn self-respect. I like to be liked. It makes my brain feel good. <laughs> but you're liking people that don't like you. Well, it's all I have. <laughs> Why do you need to hang out with your sister sometimes? Don't! <laughs> I don't anymore, man. She's just... She's... I have standards. <sighs> She's trash. Let's not bring my sister into this, man. That's a whole... That is like a four-hour goddamn podcast. That's a podcast. whole... I don't want to go into I don't want to go into that at all. <laughs> because I bring up one thing, and then it's like a billion fucking things after that that are just like, fuck off, and I don't want to talk about. Is that like a common Rider, or... What? A Death Star? What? On their shirts? On the No one knows what you're talking about. This is going on in the but background. We're watching wrestling. We'll throw up a screen of this. I will show up a screen grab of this. And no, we're moving on from this. Uh, no, 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 I was saying, I seen a girl, didn't work out, mm-hmm. now I'm into, like, trying to date. 
You're trying to get it back in that dating life, man. How, how Sherwood got his groove. Uh huh. <laughs> you, 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 know, you never had it. Never in the had first it. Place, so it's, um, it's hard to get back. 27, it's a good place to start. <laughs> I am now a 24 year old man. Uh, yeah, you're only three years younger than me. I've been writing so high. writing stories for Kindle Direct Publishing under the pen name Xavier Cross, uh, making a small amount of money on that. Knowledge? It's public fucking knowledge. Uh, I've public what? fucking knowledge. Public goddamn motherfucking cunt knowledge. It's sex. And right? uh, sexy stories. <laughs> yeah, a fair amount of sexy stories. I'm writing a novel right now. I have half of it published on Amazon. Check it out, Wolvesbane. Armored Hunter Wolvesbane is a whole goddamn situation over there. Uh, I've also been doing freelance work. If you want me to write a story for you, I can do that. It costs money. You gotta pay me. I write. I work for goddamn free. Uh, five dollars for what? What are you willing to pay? <laughs> per word. <laughs> five dollars per word. That'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, no, you can do it. You could do it. You have. You have cheaper tiers, and based on the tier level, like the lowest tier, you get the lowest quality writing, like in terms of words. So general price range is a pen, like a uh, penny a word. Get the, get the dollar tier; it's a dollar total. <laughs> One be a one or I could word. just charge my general price of a penny a word. <laughs> yeah, that's that's generally that's easier. That's what you do. Generally, yeah. And then you write just like a bunch of words. I mean, it depends on how much the... 50,000 word minimum. <laughs> <laughs> if people want me to write 50,000 words for them and they're willing to pay that, yeah, I will write it. That is part Who's of my... This? Don't talk about what's happening on the screen. This is background for us, man. It's not for the viewers. Dude, is that the guys? Yep, they got yes, the Yes, it's New Day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to edit this out. You're creating more work for me, man. Nah, just like put it up on the screen. <laughs> just swipe it over. <laughs> Shouldn't everything be integrated these days? It should be, but it's not that easy. Uh, like, the hardest thing for me is the interface of stuff. I just want to get my thoughts into, just into the world. Just want to get my thoughts right out there into the world. You know, we've been recording for, like, goddamn seven minutes, and we've gotten, like, four minutes of usable content. Because you keep talking about what's on the <laughs> goddamn television. What are you talking about? You're talking about the New Day and all their shenanigans. New Day. You make what are you gonna More say? More like new stupid. <laughs> I want to talk right to the audience real quick. Sure, it's full of shit. What's going on over here? That's gonna be really loud. I'm gonna have to edit this <laughs> now. There it is on the screen. Look at that bullshit, man. Put a, dude, put a volume limit on. You it. are just creating more work for no, me. No, put put a volume limit on it. That way, it won't go over the threshold. Tell me, I do my job. Right now, in this instant, yes. You think I don't know how to use a goddamn yes, volume I limit? I am telling you. Think I haven't edited audio uh, for yeah. my goddamn three years? Can't you put think it on Think I don't there. know how to limit audio? You goddamn moron! No, can't you put it on there, like, by default, so, like, you don't have to do it later? It's when you render. Oh. Yeah. It's all after fact. I ain't got time to deal with these programs. Yeah, man, I know. I have to do this bullshit every goddamn day. You got, like, infinite free time. You do it every year. I do want. not have infinite free time, man. I have a novel to write. Uh, now now that you started like writing. I have, like, ten novels to write. Suddenly, you're super busy all the time. It's almost as though I'm working. It's almost as though it's a goddamn job. I do freelance work, man. You know what's a job? Fucking real work. Yeah. It's terrible. It sucks, and I don't want to do it. You paid real money. That's why I'm writing. Hey, dude, I saw a job for, like, mailroom sorting. Why do you do that? Um, because I have money tied up in writing. It's not that much money. I would rather write. Because you can, make like, little money. be throwing envelopes and thinking of story ideas. I would rather be writing and making very little money dude, than... Dude, I got it. Security guard. Sit at a desk. Type away. I mean, you're not allowed to. No, I heard you can do stuff. You can just, like, read, like, study. That'd like, be nice. I'd stuff. be a security guard. I think I'd be pretty good at that. Just, like, yeah, get out there and see I'd what's going on. I'd yell the fuck out of some You're people. You're a big guy. I'll intimidate some That's, motherfuckers. You were born for it. I would kind of want to be a bouncer. That'd you be gotta really use fun. a knife. You could get a knife in there. Yeah. Be professional. I have actual professional knife training. You could, that's, put on your resume. I mean, that's probably not gonna be actually Bring a useful. pillow and then just, like, cut it up. I'm going to bring a pillow <laughs> yeah. and cut it up yeah, in the interview. Demonstrate your skills. Be like, all right, this is the intruder. So I'm going right? to go into this interview and make a goddamn mess. And notice, well, I'm not saying it has to be a feather pillow. I'm just saying. 
Any amount of pillow is gonna make a mess if you cut it up. Bring a little vacuum. Bring so now I'm buster. bringing a vacuum bring into a, this interview. Ask before you do it, like, hey, you got a broom or something? So now I'm setting up this huge situation. Like, no, I'll just, like, and that's not a thing you put on in, on a goddamn thing. You're not allowed to use a knife in security jobs. Really? Use no! A, use a baton, but it has a knife attached to it. No! Jo so knives are, like, fucking lethal, man. You swing it, and then you, like, shimmy the wrist a little bit, and, like, bring it up, and the knife gets him like, right in the eye. No. Scratch the cornea. You know what that is? That sounds like a fucking lawsuit. Cut their contact lens right in half. That sounds like an actual fucking lawsuit. I'm about to smoke marijuana. Live yeah. on audio. Lucky motherfucker. I'm just applying for some new job, and they're saying they do drug tests permanently. Yeah, it sounds like a little horse shit. And you need to speak up, man. Oh. Higher register. Information. Higher register, not the higher, like, tones. <coughs> I was just saying, like, <coughs> they test for the wrong thing. Bullshit. You're not enunciating enough, man. They test. Look, look at the difference between our goddamn audio waves. Marijuana. That is the difference between our speaking volumes. This just in. I have a radio shit. voice. I'm speaking on the radio. KPPP. KPPHTHDPT. The big dog. FUCKW. Pitbulls in the building, hell yeah! I like that sound. Giggity, giggity, giggity. That's how radio yeah. works. Yeah, we went to the smoke shop, and then you were shit-talking family guy with that girl, trying to impress her. I wasn't trying and to impress like, anyone. You reference family guy, so I do not reference family. You just did. I, no, as a joke. Who's ironic? About how <laughs> terrible goddamn radio is. I wasn't trying to impress hey. goddamn anyone. Family guy's terrible. Just like radio, still fun. No. You gotta get over it. We were in agreement that Family Guy is a they terrible some, television show. They got program. some funny jokes. There are a couple writers on there that know what they're talking about. Every now about. and then it's like, huh. But it's sprinkled in among bullshit. I think it's a decent enough cartoon story. No. We'll it's splash not. my drink all over this mic. That sounds like a load of horse shit, and we both know it. We both know it. Your ass sounds like a load of horse shit. When it poops. <laughs> I got you there. Really? Yeah. Because this is the humor we've evolved poop. to. Poop comes up. Poop your ass, up. Your <laughs> ass smells like poop. <laughs> it smells like hey, dookie. No, I said it sounds like it horse It sounds shit. like horse shit when you take a dookie. So you're plopping them out, right? Yeah, this, this is our humor now, man. No, this is This is, is like what weed has reduced us to. Pure, like, poop and dookie anal jokes. Analytics. Analytics of poop jokes? Anaclytics. No, man. You need to bring your goddamn A game, not your poop shit. Anyways, sex with women. Sex with women. That's what I want. You know what? I like older women. I want it to be, like, super romantic, though, too. I like women over the age of 35. Because that's the cutoff of when they know what I like them um, legal age up to, you know, when they're not too wrinkly. What does that mean? I don't know. I want I want a woman. That's... I want you to give me a hard age right now. What is your it's cutoff? Because some women look good, and then some. What women is look, oh, no. your cutoff? Right before they start tasting salty. The fuck does that? <laughs> have you? You have? I know. I know. I know for a fact. You have never tasted an older woman. You do not know that they get salty. Tasted a younger woman. Was she salty? No, and she didn't look it either. Then you have literally no basis <laughs> for that these older women get salty. I'm saying, like, if she looks like she tastes salty, you know, like... The fuck does that mean? Like, like this. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're full of uh, shit, man. Well, like, you, are, like, you are more full of shit than I am. It's like a black hole, like, you know, collapsing on itself. You know, it, like, structurally can't maintain its physical Form. What <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? Vagina. A salty vagina. It's like a pirate. You know what? We're going to be right back. It's got an eye patch on it. <laughs> After this word from our sponsors. At what point 
do you think it's safe to assume things aren't going to work out? With who? Just in general. Um, <coughs> immediately. Yeah? Yeah. Because likely things won't work out. If we're going by <coughs> odds, likely? Nah. Fuck it. But, real relationships do require work. No, I was talking about in general. With what? You know, general, like, everything. Nothing, nothing, ha like, nothing's the same, man. What does that even mean? Different things have different cutoffs. What? Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking I about. I said in general, all of it. What the fuck does that mean? You know, just, like, life and stuff. Like How do you know when it's safe to say that life is over? When you're fucking dead. <laughs> That's when. I know, but I'm saying, like, you have to suffer through it. Yeah! That's the point! That's not a good No, time. life... Alright, I'm gonna quote Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Life sucks, and then you die. But, like, what, what are you living for? Marijuana. Writing stories. Sex with people. You're not getting one of those. Not right now. You could be. Not right now, though. You could be. But not right now. You're not. I'm not currently. I'll give you a ride if, <laughs> if you need a ride somewhere to fuck it's a woman. It's hard to set that up. Or a young man. A bit of a dry a spell. Young legal man. Whoa. Don't go implying anything I'm not impl under the age. I think you're inferring Whoa. something. Whoa! I specifically said... A ain't, young ain't no inference. Man. Ain't no inferences here. Anal interest? Whatever that floats your boat. Ain't no ain't inference. no interest. Yeah. Ain't no inference. That ain't no sex. Inference. It's like an in infer reference. Inference. Ain't no sex. I don't like words. No There's bad, There's bad profession. It's bad people. You know what my profession is? My profession is words. Yeah, the I, English language. You misspelled some words. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> First off, not everybody's perfect. Not everybody gets their job right 100% of the time. Sometimes you misspell a couple <laughs> things when you're spelling them slowly out loud. S. P. I don't even remember what I was trying to spell there. Palette. P A L A T E. S P A. Yeah, that's how you S? spell. It's a silent e? S. It is a silent S. You got two letters. You know, I'm using I'm using word. I'm using the French S, the French palette. S that is silent in front of the P for palette. Palette. That's how you use the French version of it. French toast is good. French toast is fucking delicious. Like you know what? Fuck waffles. Fuck pancakes. Whoa. whoa. I get French waffles. They're goddamn due respect. toast. French goddamn toast. Fuck you, waffles. Fuck you, pancakes. Fuck you, IHOP. You know, Dana Brooke, she is thick as fuck. She's not that thick. She is thick as shit. She should be thicker. She should be thicker, but she is mildly thick. About like one and a half inches thicker with my dick inside her. You know, that's just, that's misogynistic. It'll push her out. It's misogynistic like, and I won't stand for it. Amount. I will not stand for your, your I mean, like, man loving, hand, woman duh. hating ways. You womanizing Wait, piece man of lover? shit. You're a man loving, woman hating. Woman hating, I can see how you could jump to that conclusion. Womanizing. Man loving. Sack of goddamn from? garbage. I mean, I like a good dick, but... So, hey, sure. why haven't we recorded the anything? men attached to them. Why haven't we recorded anything? Uh, because you didn't feel like it. Um, no, it's because we're both lazy. Well, yeah, but you're kind of in charge of the whole recording thing. That so. I am not in charge of bullshit. <laughs> it's up to you. You can do whatever the fuck you want. This is your computer. I'm You're not, the executive producer. I'm not gonna, like, just start recording shit. Yeah, why not? Fine, I'll, I'll bring it out. You are as in charge of this shit as I am. Next time we're, we're <clears throat> playing a game or something, and we're doing this kind of shit, uh -huh. I'm just gonna say, hey, let's record it. Do it. Like the last time that uh -huh. didn't happen. If you want to set it up, you fucking go ahead. I don't like the setup. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> That's why I don't do it. I'm not a producer. It's, it's, I am a talent. 
I talk for a living. I'm the talent too. Are you? I'm the guest talent. <laughs> You're more the pro you are much more the producer than I am. Oh, yet I have on. to edit this shit. I don't wait. Isn't that what the producer does? The edit. I mean, they morally like fun shit, but like I guess I did fun like <laughs> most things here. Producer more means things behind the scenes. Yeah, I don't really do much. I'm too busy. Exactly. And all the editing software is here, which yeah. you're using to write your stories. You know what fucking sucks? Editing. I hate it. Yeah. I hate it with a passion. I took a while just because I was kind of perfectionist about it. Yeah. Uh, when you're editing things that don't need much editing, it just it's just so fucking monotonous. Why well, don't you just, like, cut real quick? Cut real quick between what? Do cuts. Cut it out. This part is unnecessary. But then you're just getting rid of content. And people might want to see that content. Because even though... Get in. Even though it's not Simple funny. answer. But then, you just have a video. And you're not editing it. And you're just sitting there, cutting it to 10 minutes a piece. Cut it. Cut it down. Or 20 minutes a piece. Or a half an hour a piece. It's, it's just monotonous. It's terrible. I don't like it. Monot mon monotony. Basically, we're bad at this. Well, yeah, and that's not, why... We're not good. That's why things don't work. That's why we don't put things out very often. See, I didn't... Because we're fucking bad content producers. I didn't do it enough. So by the time, like, we actually got a feel for doing anything, like, I just don't have the skills to edit. First off, speak at a higher register. Can I just move the mic closer to me? No, you need to learn how to speak at a higher goddamn register. It is not that hard. Just speak from the heart, man. You know, I wonder, because, like, a lot of times I'll say something on what seems like an, a, a reasonable volume, and no one seems to hear me. Because you're not speaking at a hearable register. Is it also because of the tone of my voice? Alright, the tone of your voice is very low, which is hard to pick up. It's very hard to pick that up. You gotta give this one bravado. I don't like yelling at people. You don't. But here's the thing. A lot of people have damaged hearing. Yeah, I've noticed that. It seems like nobody can hear shit. Nobody can hear shit. You're hearing better than most. I'm like... So you're speaking at a volume that is hearable to you, but not to the people who have damaged hearing, who is your primary audience. So you need to be speaking at a higher register so your primary audience, aka fucking deaf people like my mom and I, can hear you. So I just gotta yell all the time. Basically. I'm so tired of people saying, What? Yeah. Like, what are you fucking deaf? Because people can't fucking hear you because you're like, yeah. Um. All right. There's some times where my voice is super low. Well, uh. But no. Come on. Pretty much. Uh. <laughs> no. No. I don't sound well, like that guy. Well, uh. I'm in it for the money. So. Who is in it for the money? I mean, that's why. The guy has that's, good points. That's why we're here. Pretty much. So. uh... Yeah, you need to speak higher, man. Hi! It's like, when I'm editing this shit, it's so apparent that you just do not speak well, very high. Or very loud. I put... I, I put as much effort in as if I... No! <laughs> Talk louder! <laughs> Fuck you! I don't give a shit! You know, uh, side, side unrelated uh, thing here. Unrelated thing here. Who? What is this? What? I don't, I don't get it. You're gonna Fuck break glass. You. In Rave Master, one of the Dark Rings. Once upon a time in a land of goodbye. That's one of the, the bad guy's power things. With the carrot nose, dog! It was sound cancel, so it just, like, cancels sounds. So, like, in Common Rare Ghost. Yeah. Go on. That was it. <laughs> so, that's... <laughs> Unrelated. <laughs> that's the primary reason we haven't been uploading shit. I thought that was a cool thing. Is we're obsessed with Common Rider... And we just keep spending goddamn time watching and talking about Kamen Rider. I'm saying we can watch other stuff. This motherfucker only wants to watch Kamen Rider. All right, well we're caught up now, so that's not a discussion anymore. And then you're like, "What are we gonna do now?" And I'm like, "Here's this. We can watch this. We can watch this." No. We have so many things to watch. No. I gave you like three options. You gave me. You know one. what? Next time, I will say three things. If you do not the, like the first or second, we're watching the third. For the third? Are you just going to decide it? Well, you, I'll pick of the things we have to, yet to watch. You're going to fucking assert yourself here? Yeah. You're going to assert your dominance? 
over me and put on a movie? No, I'm just saying we're going to do it. Okay. You got a problem with that? Nope. <laughs> I just like asking people questions about, oh, you're going to do this? <laughs> you're really going to do this? Because, like, most of the time, they're not like they're not going to fucking do it if you ask them. If you really ask someone, they're just not going <laughs> to fucking do it. Well, yeah, if you ask them. What's that supposed to mean? Because you get away with everything. You're Mr. Charisma. I have no charisma. You're the charisman. I'm full of shit. I'm 100% full of shit. You think I could ask out that girl? What girl? At McDonald's. Which one? Charisma. I mean, you talked to her one time, like, two weeks ago. I don't know. She leaned in when I mentioned her name. I mean, if... If we can... I don't know social shit, but that seems like she's very interested. Right? <laughs> right. She didn't lean away. She leaned towards me. All right. That's how it works, All right? this story has made me... Is what goddamn McDonald's? Well, I can't drive. I know, and it's they're closing in like seven minutes, so like there's no chance. There's no hope for I McDonald's. I mean, if we left now, but you can't leave. You're, you're, you're dr literally drinking right now. There's no hope for McDonald's. Bottoms up. <laughs> you know what I fucking want? To live in a city where I can pay someone to just go get that shit for me. Well, yeah, isn't that That's the cheese? Uh, no, wait, they need to do task food. rabbit there's tons of apps and shit for yeah that. i can get food anytime for like what how much also in actual Five cities dollars mcdonald's is open 24 7 yeah so like i just want a goddamn i want three plain double well, cheeseburgers a large fry and a dr pepper and i don't want your bullshit of oh it's not 10 30 a.m <laughs> so i can't give you this normal meal <laughs> fuck you <laughs> I'm only going to serve you breakfast because I'm McDonald's in rural I want my Oregon. meal, the Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Sometimes I want Coca-Cola. It's, it's all up to my mood. Yeah, like rural, small town, like 40, 45,000 people? 50, like 50,000. We're around 50,000. 50,000 people. This we're around, town. We're around the same size as Silent Hill. It's like my size for, like, I'm comfortable with it, but there's, like, nothing in it. There is fucking nothing to do here. This town fucking sucks. It smells like shit. Yeah. The it city... Smells like the AC people who run this city are a goddamn mafia of old people. Oh, really? They're a mafia of old people who hate everything new and they hate marijuana. God damn it. I hate the hate for marijuana. It sucks! It's unfounded and unreasonable. I have lost almost a hundred pounds because of marijuana. You. That's a fucking lot of weight because of marijuana. Like, fucking Christ, people. Like, it solved my insomnia. I sleep a minimum <laughs> of eight hours a night now. Do you know how fucking crazy that is? Didn't you already sleep like a ton of hours? No, I didn't. Oh no, your sleep schedule has always been weird. That's, you know why it's always been weird? Because I slept maybe two hours a night. Because I would, like... I'd be exhausted all of the time, but I couldn't sleep. So why don't you just, like, get edibles since they make you tired? I have them now. I'm, it's solved now. I've never had a problem with sleeping since I started smoking weed. But before then, I would get two hours of sleep a night. Just <laughs> as I was about, like, needing to get up <laughs> is stupid. when I would fall asleep. That's dumb. It sucked. It yeah. fucking sucked. You know, I felt I had insomnia for a while. And once I started working, it wasn't so much a problem. Yeah, because you're like, like you're I was exhausted. actually doing something in the day. Yeah. Uh, when you're unemployed and you're riding for a living, that's a problem. Riding motorcycles? I wasn't actually riding at the time because I was so depressed and sleep deprived that I couldn't do anything. When did you decide to be a writer? When I was nine years old. No, like to actually do it. When I was nine years old. Seems pretty recent. When I was nine years old. Uh, no, so... When you started writing, for real. So when I actually started writing is when I actually had energy like to do so. Last year? I started doing it in January of this year. I published Gabe Roy Dinosaur Love, uh, under the pen name Xavier Cross, as I mentioned earlier. And I, I wrote that while drunk and high... Uh, not high, because we... No, I was high as shit. I was drunk and high as shit yeah, out of my mind. High. And wrote, like... Two to three thousand words of bullshit about gay dinosaurs <laughs> and bullshit. It is it is unreadable nonsense. 
Like, it is absolute horseshit. You ever thought about uh, collecting bottle caps? No, because that's dumb. Is it? Yes. Uh, I like this one. It has stuff on it. It just has, like, four pictures and a cross, man. Uh... Right. And then uh, I published like one other thing uh, behind. No, the first thing I published was behind the school, which was a gay schoolboys fucking. It was about schoolboys fucking, and it was a gay prostitute about a guy named Sky or some shit. I forget his last name. And there was gay sex, and he broke his jaw with the dick in his mouth because Gallons that dick was cum. so big. The cum was just <laughs> everywhere. It was pools of cum. You know, since you're talking about this. Like, we have to integrate sex All right. in general. So, sex is part of my living. You can't talk about your writing and my not... Li- sex is part of my living. Sex. sex is part of my everyday life. It's normal now. It's it's just the normal. You're writing about way more obscene stuff than I talk about. Exactly. The shit I've written about, I have profited greatly off the concept of rape. Jeez. That's pretty fucked up. When you really think about that... Yeah, there's a market for rape. When you really think about that, though, that's insanely fucked up. I have made upwards of $70... Profited from rape. ...off of the concept of rape. People like rape. People are fucked up. It's not my problem. I don't like it. I don't want it. I'm like a drug dealer. Shut down the Japanese porn industry right now. (laughs) Alright, that's not part of my problem. I'm just doing my job, man. My job is to write stories, to pander to the to the patterns in people's minds that lead them to believe that things are erotic. That is my job. Understanding trying those patterns. Trick them. Trying to trick people into getting erections. Well, not women. You know, <laughs> clits can get erect. Yeah, but are you are you talking about clits when you say erections too? All right. So, yeah, I, I didn't think. Here's so. the thing. My primary audience is 40 year old women. Gay men. My primary audience is 40 year old women. Because those are the people who buy (laughs) these books on Amazon. Also, I write primarily about older women having sex with younger men. You put like a foreword in your book that says, if you'd like to have sex with me, here's my email address. Alright, that's offensive. And also, I have my Twitter at Krause Xavier. Um, I have gotten numerous offers from men. Attractive women? No. Attractive men? (laughs) Yes and no. Um, attractive on an objective sense, but not attractive as in I'm attracted to them. Because I have a rather specific type when it comes to men. I like them on the thinner side. I like them on the slim, skinny, twink side. I don't like men that are tops like me. You should you should sign you should sign stuff with like like a winky emoticon with a T in front of it, twink. And now I'm winking because like twink. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. It'll it'll tell them tell the twinks. Twinks only. No. <laughs> so first off, no. Second of all, fuck you. <laughs> oh, you don't want that. <laughs> You gonna fuck them tweaks? I mean, you got it. It's hard to find. It's hard to find. You gonna pump them full of cream? I wanna pump them full of hot white semen. Understanding the amount of times I've had to come up with a different word for semen, it's in it's in the thousands by now. <laughs> really? You, you thousands? Know, Go. I I don't want to. Come, semen, cream, milk, white Dick juice. Juice, Man tasty, juice. Uh, tasty. You just call it tasty. And yo, then, and then he squirted his tasty all <laughs> over his mouth. Uh, I'm just using the words to describe it. Uh, scrum. <laughs> that is not a word that you would use to describe <laughs> semen. You should a scrum of eggs. <laughs> it's scrumbled eggs. A scrum of embryo. <laughs> Yeah, you have any embryo porn? I do not, unfortunately. Do they just like eat the embryos? So what? I've been focusing too much on my on my novel, Armored Hunter Wolvesbane, which you saw in the advertisements that I inserted into this numerously, uh, and I I've been focusing so much on finishing that that I haven't had time to write much of my erotic fiction. 
And my erotic fiction is basically trying to create a catalog of the dumbest bullshit I can justify. And I'm just, like, slowly building up... I've written one about uh, Dat Boy, the meme. Dat Boy Origins, I give the origin story to the meme. And it's filled with gay furry sex. What time is it? It is 11.01 p.m. Jesus Christ, I shouldn't drink the rest of this. You should finish that right no. now. Well, you know what? You're just wasting everybody's time. You're not talking much. What are you talking about? I thought it was like 10.30 at the latest. I gotta work at 9 o'clock, dude. <laughs> Sucker, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I get paid fucking money. I get paid very little money for my terrible work. <laughs> You know what, I just want to be able to scrape by rent. Because if I can scrape by rent every month, I will have absolutely no shame in doing this job. If All I can do is make out, like... You have to have, like, no bills. $500 a month on writing. A month? Uh, is my dream. Jesus Christ, that's like almost a week, dude. What? It's like a week's worth of money. Alright, well, I'm just looking to pay rent. If I can make 500 a month to pay rent, I will be happy in life. Because I won't have to work a job, and I can just do my writing. No pocket money. I don't give a fuck about pocket money. I'll suck a dick for pocket money. <laughs> I Ew, do dude. not want to work a goddamn job. Get a disease. Jobs suck. Low jobs. Low jobs suck too, but it's a job. <laughs> job's a job, man. Yeah, I don't think I'd suck a stranger dick for money. I mean, obviously not. Like, uh, you'd have to go on a date with them first. Yeah, that sucks. People have sex on the first date? Tons of people do. I don't get it. It's gotta be. I would never do that. Like, that seems well, weird to me. think about it. What's the difference between having sex on the, th the first date and having sex on the third date? You know that person better by the third date. Barely. Because, no, there is a significance of meeting someone the third time. There is a psychological thing of you becoming more of yourself after the third meeting. There is not the something. Second, not the not second. The fourth. The third is a pretty significant thing in people's minds. Because people minds, people's minds work in sets of three. That's why the rule of threes works so well in comedy and writing and music. Everything well, works in sets of threes. That, I don't think that's entirely like. 100%. It's not 100%. There's gotta be people that, like, if they're in it for the there, sex, There are exceptions not? to everyone, and I'm saying me personally, I do not understand the appeal of doing it on the first date. I, I understand, obviously, fucking people. If you're just in it for the fucking, you can do it the most second you meet. I don't give a shit. But if you're in it for, like, a date, like a relationship, sex on the first date seems like a bad idea in general. Yeah, it is kind of fast. It's too fast. You need three separate hours to know that person. That's how long a date is, an hour? Generally, like, an hour to three. A one to three hours, but on separate occasions, you need at least one hour on three separate occasions. Because people can put up an act for one date, no problem. Put up an act for two dates, that's a bit of a problem. Three dates, you gotta fucking want it to put in three dates of an act. See... When I was with that, the whatever the last girl I was with, I was like super nice. We'll to her. call her D. Call her D E E D. D, uh, D. It's already established. We don't need to iterate on it. Move forward with D. Sweet D. Sweet D. Sucking you gave that D. sweet D that sweet D. <laughs> In front of her son, Jeez, you fucking dude. weirdo. Hey. Why am I the weirdo? I'm not the parent, alright? You went through with it, you I am sick fuck. Caught up in a whirlstorm of... A whirlstorm? <laughs> a whirlstorm of emotions! Sexual feelings. No, you're a horn dog who couldn't hold it in his pants and fucked in front of a child, you sicko. Hey, alright, he was on top of the bed, we were below it. I am holding you to this, you weird piece of shit. Why am I the villain in this story? <laughs> Everyone is the villain in this situation. You're just the one in front of me. Who is more responsible in this situation? The mom. 100%. Yeah, alright. But. I just want that to be clear. You are still responsible. Yes. I had a momentary lapse of judgment. Momentary? Yeah. You put your dick in front of any amount of logic 100% of the time. Your dick was not in view. 
It was it was hidden very well. <laughs> for several hours. <laughs> You're a sack of shit. Anyways, you make me look like a good person sometimes. Hey, I made a mistake, all right. <laughs> I was honest about it. You know, if I was if I was a bad guy, I would just not say anything. That's my problem. I talk too much. No, I, I reveal way too much, more than I should, and I'm working on it. All right. You Anyways, do not, you do not talk too much. Your problem is definitely not talking too much. Your problem is revealing too much. Yeah, I don't know what's... I talk too much. I will say literally fucking yeah, anything. spit out words. I will... I have no filter. I will say fucking anything. Cunt, faggot, bullshit, motherfucker. I do not care. Well, yeah, but if people get angry at you, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and who cares? It doesn't <laughs> matter for anyone. Well, it matters to me, because, you know, I want people to like me. So I sent out a tweet... That was like, uh, I'm going to speak for everyone in the LGBT community and say, hey, otherkin, fuck you. Who? Otherkin are people who claim they're like animals <laughs> and planets. <laughs> like trans people identify as the other gender. There's like a scientific basis for that of the brain identifying yeah. with the other side. There's no scientific basis for people <laughs> being fucking planets. Fuck off! Wait, are they planets or are they asteroids? They self-identify as the planet Mercury? As all these different fucking planets and shit! Why can't someone identify as, like, Jesus Christ or something? They can. The Buddha. By, see, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. It's all full of shit! I'm the savior. You Me. can go ahead and say you're a goddamn Digimon. And it's all as equal. And they're trying to say that I'm offensive for saying fuck you to someone who says they're a goddamn unicorn. Do they have, like, a dildo for a horn? No. They just identify... And I'm not interested. ...as a unicorn. I'm gonna... I'm gonna let a... Liars. I'm gonna let a spoiler out here. Like a fit woman. Unicorns are all fucking real! As far as we know. As far as we know... Hey, well, don't you want monsters to be real? I do. I desperately do. But you know why I love the occult? Because I, I've, as of somewhat recently, been obsessed with the occult. Yeah, horror is fun. It's fun. Because I know none of it's fucking real, but there are people who do <laughs> think it's real. And I will go to any length. To trick them? As far as saying, I will sell my soul to Satan. <laughs> and like, doing a ritual in front of them. To trick them into thinking this shit's real. Dude, like, your, uh, your, your brother's wife? My brother's wife is, like, scared of a Ouija board. Yeah. And I find I was, that hilarious. Dude, I was saying, like, I'm gonna, like, summon a spirit. I wanna summon spirits I'm and gonna, ghouls! No, 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 cause since I'm a guest in the house, that means I technically have permission, like, ghost permission, right? No. So, that does not make any sense. No, You're no, making no, these rules No, 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 no. Think of... Think about it. All Think about right? what? Think about what it. are the rules of ghosts? All right. If you're in the house, you own the house. Like it's your residence, right? Vampires, they got you. Got to let them in, right? Let Vampires the right one in. and werewolves. Let them in. Are not even fucking real. No, no, no. I'm saying if they are real, it's probably how it's gonna go, right? Vampire knocks on the door, says, "Hey, let me in," and you're like, "No." Does it have hypnosis? If it does, it's probably gonna get in. If it doesn't, just say no. Ghost. You open up the portal, and, like, you bring them into this world by asking them, like, hey, come on in. It's basically the same thing. I'm a guest in the house. I'm playing the Ouija game, so I technically have permission to invite spirits in, because playing Ouija board, right? So I have permission. I'm going to invite a spirit. It's going to haunt her. But I'm not going to actually do it, though, because it would be kind of mean. So. If it's real. My whole thing with it. I don't want to, like, One, actually fuck someone. If it's over. not real, no no harm done. I can do whatever the fuck. No if harm done. If it is done. real, though. If it is real. <laughs> if it is real. What was that? It's like, uh, oh. Bob uh, if it is real, then that means <laughs> one fucking thing. Magic's real. Magic is motherfucking real. 
Which means... <laughs> and then you're you're getting impaled by a ghost, and you're like, magic's real. Bah! <laughs> you're dead. That means one motherfucking thing. You can get powers. Yeah, I know. No, not powers. I could become a common Rider. Yeah, you'll probably die before then. I'll get the... Co I'll evade death. I'm a lucky person. Well, I won you? a lot of raffles. People buy my books, to a degree. Not a lot of them, but some people... I get consistent sales. I'm pretty lucky. I'm luckier than the average person. You're pretty plucky. I'm tall. I'm white. I got blue eyes. Yeah, you're pretty tall. Blonde hair. Good personality. I am pretty fucking lucky. I if live in I was America. Like a few inches taller, I would be so much more successful. Oh, yeah, you would, man. I would murder. If you were my height, you I'd would be fucking kill. untouchable. Because, like... A tall, goofy guy. People love that. People love it. Small guys. No. Nobody cares about short people. Short people. It's all right. Weird. No. Nobody doesn't care about short people. People love short people. They don't care about the in between. They don't care about the people who aren't short. Yeah, that's why I but say I like. Tall. I like really tall women or really short women. Regular sized women. Nobody gives a hey, fuck. No, I will take them. I'm just saying, like. I can have what I want. Yeah, no one has an opinion on the in-between. People only want tall or short. No one has an opinion on the medium. I don't think that's fair. It isn't. And you're a medium. I'm a medium man. You're a medium in almost every sense of the word, in every sense of your person. Oh, yeah, I was, I was gonna say, that girl I was saying I was being super nice, right? Yeah. I was, like, helping her clean up and shit. I was, like... Really polite. Poor old sweetie. And then you bitter kid. Well, yeah. <laughs> you, there's no <laughs> amount of you being I, the I good guy in this. You bitter hey, child. All right. <laughs> we went over the logic. <laughs> we have not gone over the logic on recording, oh, man. All right. Here's how it went. Here's Her how kid, it, here's how hey, the biting hey, of hey, a child can I tell this story? All right. Let me preface this, the story this, as the host of the podcast, you goddamn piece of shit saying I'm the one that has to set all this up. I get to preface it right. by saying this motherfucker bit you a goddamn did. child. Not without interruption. You bit a child. All right, I did it. Tell the story. All right, so. Of how you bit a child. She's a mother. She has a child, four-year-old child. Turning five soon. He's not too young. Gave him that goddamn sword I would have loved. He's pretty rowdy. Now I have to spend my money by So he was one. all over me at like every second of the day. And, you know, he likes to bite, right? So you tell him like, no, don't bite me. Guess what? Sometimes it doesn't work. You know it. Mm -hmm. Tell a kid something, they don't fucking listen. I have nephews, I live with them. So I said, hey, look right at him. Hey, if you bite me, I'm gonna bite you back. And that's what I did. Several times, several times, the mother was present in the room for a few of those, did not say anything, did not react. I said, I said, you bite me, I'm gonna bite you. And then like the fourth or fifth time, I bit him way too hard. All right, left a mark. And then she, she confronted me. Foolishly, I argued about it. <sighs> that was my downfall. Sherwood, Sherwood, Sherwood. And then the next day, she was like, get out of here. Get all your stuff out. Yeah. And then months went by, and she kept it's actually, the toys. It's coming up on a month. Months went by, and she kept these toys. Yeah, I just got them back. That connect to yesterday. my common Rider drive belt. Yeah, I, I brought some toys over, because the kid loves toys. That kid loves these common Rider drive toys. And she just kept them. She just kept them for months. She didn't even care. And she lost one of them. That bitch. Well, come on. That bitch that I'm, I'm not, technically related to. I'm not going that far. <laughs> I don't call people shit. I have no problem saying whatever. Because then if we ever meet again in person and she... Alright, first off, she ain't ever gonna listen to this. She ain't ever gonna look up my YouTube yeah, channel. nothing to do with it. Two, if she ever did see it, I would just say bullshit. It's, it's goddamn on-camera personality. Anyway, That's how you get away with saying anything. You claim it's a persona. That's how these stupid motherfuckers on the internet pull this shit. My point is, like, I'm trying to treat women right, you know? No. After my first no. relationship. First off, fuck you. 
treat everyone right. Well, yeah, obviously I'm trying to do that. That's not obvious. You just said women, you motherfucker. Well, I'm specifically talking you about treat relationships. Treat everyone. Yeah. Okay. Right. Base base rule: treat everyone right. Specifically, treat women right. First off, that I'm in a relationship with. Two things. One, fuck you. Two, fuck you. But I treat him right. And, <laughs> and I, I argued that one time and didn't work out. Well, no, the problem wasn't that you argued. The problem was that you argued a terrible thing. Well, I had some points. No, you didn't. You did not have some points. I had, I had some points. No. No, no, no. She had some points. The, no. She right. made later. Here's the problem. I, I didn't get Here's the problem. You're saying you did have points. I did have points. But that's not what anyone wants to hear. I know. No so, one wants to hear anything but what they say. You shouldn't continue yes, saying. That's why you don't argue with the parent about their child. There you go. That's also why you don't bite. Well, hey, yeah, you know, I've talked to like plenty of people afterwards who were like, "Oh, hey, you were right. Go ahead and bite that fucking kid. That's what I would have done." <laughs> All right. No, no, fuck those people. <laughs> don't bite kids hey, that do not belong to I'm not you. Biting kid. <laughs> oh, what? What's this? What's this? Oh, it belongs to you. It's fine. All right. Here's the thing about kids. I thought you were taking a hardline stance about biting kids. But no, it's just kids you don't own, you huh? Don't, don't argue with the parents, if right? If you don't own this child, <laughs> you cannot abuse it. <laughs> if you want to abuse your child Wait, saying, as the owner, <laughs> so you're saying, then you can go children, the fuck ahead. Children are property. As long as you own them, anything goes. <laughs> well, I'm just going to say you children fucking monster. are not people. That's children false. are not people until they're 16. Why the arbitrary number? Because that's the all right. Is that it's the not, legal age? Let me let me or? say. Let me say. Let me say. Let me say. Fifteen. They're stupid. Sixteen. They know some of what's going on. So as soon as the clock strikes midnight on their sixteen, people change at different rates. Birth. I'm gonna say generally, in my experience, the general age where people start to somewhat understand what's going on is sixteen. Some people will get it by 13. I understood it by, like, fucking 12. So you're saying 12 is the legal age. No. 16 is the general age where you know what's going on. Give me a hard number. 16. When you can put your dick in someone. 18 in America. <laughs> no, no, no. What's... <laughs> what's your personal thought on it? 18? Uh, in America, yes. 100%. I uh, agree. Whatever the laws of the <laughs> land you are currently in, so you're gonna move, is the cutoff. You're gonna move to some foreign country and start fucking some sixteen year old girls. If I lived in that country and was a licensed <laughs> member of fuck that country, yeah. why the fuck not? <laughs> but I'm not personally attracted to sixteen year old girls that much. Yeah, so like older why women. not? I like older like women. Said. So that's not doing much like, for me. You don't like them fresh. You like them. Vine ripens. I'm not you. I like them. Hey, I like what's legal. I like and above. Well not above what's old. legal. I don't go too far. The above. legality of it is never in question for me, because I'm always well above it. It's never in question for me. Good for you. Just don't ask. Good for you. <laughs> We're gonna take a quick commercial break. Ask for ID always. This podcast brought to you by Armored Hunter Wolves Band by Xavier Cross. Wear condoms. On Amazon.com. Is it? 100%. We are black. black. <laughs> you are half black. I am 100% white. My name is Aaron Eads. I've never introduced myself on this podcast. Aaron Eads, Didn't a.k.a. Me? Xavier Cross. Buy his books on Amazon. Buy my books, Amazon.com slash Xavier Cross. That is shit. not a real URL. Buy my books. I write books about... 50 shekels for the bundle. Whoa. I have no bundles for all of my books. <laughs> you have to buy them individually. This is a this is a business here, I man. I did have bundles that cost I more do. than the collected books. No, 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 no. You're wrong. The collections of individual collections of books cost less than buying them individually. You see, I've sold Armored Hunter Wolvesbane for $1.99 a chapter as I've written it. 
All of this stuff is cha subject to change as I've written it. And as will be done, it's pretty soon. You watching wrestling, man? You can talk to the podcast. Oh, I'm just, like, it's really dumb. This one's worse. Wrestling is always stupid. It has never been good. It has never been smart. It's like a step away from Kamen Rider. They're just not committing to it yet. It's well below Kamen Rider in terms of writing With several and action. steps down the ring. And editing. And all of it. We've only got like 10 minutes left in this podcast. Oh, he said 20 minutes. Don't hold me to what I have said, man. You're full of shit. We just need to talk a little bit more. So, I've been writing stories for Amazon. You've been working. We've working. been too lazy and watching too much yeah, Common I've been Rider. I'm so busy with all my hard work that I'm just sleeping. And I've been so too lazy. busy with my hard work on Amazon.com slash Xavier Cross, not a real URL, remind you, to do these less plays. But we're getting back to it soon. Yeah, sure. At some point, we're doing it. 100%. Uh, I like smoke. Also, my Xavier Cross <clears throat> uh, YouTube channel, I've been doing a Nuzlocke. I'm going to get back to that soon after I finish Wolvesbane. And then I'll be getting my YouTube stuff going a lot more. Sherwin and I will be doing Life is Strange and Paper Mario for the foreseeable future. Um, I don't know when we'll be getting back to that. Some point... Who knows? We're drunk. Um, I'm just gonna go. A I'm just gonna go ahead and call it off now. We've been going for a while now. We got like 40 minutes of usable content. It's good enough. That's a podcast. Slap it up there. That's a good podcast right there. Slap it up on the goddamn internet. You know that's that's ad revenue right Moral. there. Did you just get it on the microphone? No. I was just scared. Moral of the story. Be nice to women. No. Moral of the story, fuck you!